In this video I'm going to be making a lightweight concrete mix with vermiculite and Portland cement. And this is going to be a really lightweight mix. I'm going to be using a ratio of six parts vermiculite to one part Portland cement. So it's not going to be super strong, but it is going to be extremely light. So it's going to be very interesting to compare that to some of these other ratios which are a little bit more rich in the cement content, which should make them a lot stronger. That's the vermiculite that we're working with there. It's a medium grain vermiculite. It will break down into fines as it's mixing. Uh, and it's important to not overmix vermiculite for that reason because it will break down too much and it will kind of compromise the yield that you're going to get for a given, a given mix. And it's also worth mentioning, you have to wet this aggregate down before you try to work with it. Don't scoop it dry from the bag right into a concrete mix. It's going to bind in the bottom of the bucket or in the bottom of the barrel immediately because vermiculite is, it just drinks all the moisture instantaneously. It's a great thing to have on, on hand for cleaning up spills, but if you're going to be using it in a concrete mix, you have to pre-wet it first. And there we have our lightweight concrete mix using six parts vermiculite to one part Portland cement. So here we have two vermiculite uh, test blocks that we're making. This is a three to one vermiculite to Portland cement mix, six to one vermiculite to Portland cement mix. And this bottom one here was a very wet mix. 
the top one I did quite dry. Uh, hopefully they both consolidated pretty well. They're not fully cured yet, uh, perhaps 10 days old. Enough to, to demold them here, hopefully. The six to one's probably pretty weak, but I'm hopeful that I can get, out of, get it out of the mold without breaking it at this point. Uh, and then I can go ahead and start uh, reusing this mold for some more test blocks. All right, we're rolling along here. I could see this one breaking. It's not bad at all. Okay, so I'll let this sample sit aside for a full month and then we'll weigh it and then we'll break it and see how much weight it was able to sustain before it broke. <laughs> 